Hey everyone, Stetson Vox here from PlanetBorderlands.com. Besides asking me questions about gameplay, a lot of you are interested in how I make such high quality videos. So I'm going to demonstrate that here today. For recording my videos, I use a piece of software called Fraps. It's probably the most well-known video capture software in the gaming community. To get Fraps, just go to their website, www.fraps.com, and go to the Download tab. It's free to download, but that's only for the trial version. The trial version's limitations are that there's a watermark on the top of the screen that says fraps.com and you can only record for 30 seconds at a time. So that means you're constantly going to be mashing the record button every 30 seconds. Now if that bothers you, then you should probably think about purchasing it. It's 40 bucks. I purchased it. That's why my videos are so long. Um, I just couldn't stand to put up with mashing the record button every 30 seconds. So once you've made your decision to actually purchase the full version or use the trial, go ahead and download and run the installer. Once the installer is done, go ahead and run the program. So when it first loads, it's going to default to the general tab. Uh, you guys can change those settings whichever way you want. It doesn't really affect our movie performance at all. What we're going to focus on is the FPS tab and the movies tab. So in the FPS tab, we're going to take a look at the bottom right corner here. This is your overlay, uh, your FPS overlay. So it'll show you the current amount of FPS you're getting right now. I keep mine on because I want to make sure my video is about 25 frames per second or more uh, because below, anything below 25 it starts looking kind of choppy and you'll be able to tell the performance isn't that great. So I keep mine on. You can disable it by setting a hotkey. By default it's F12 and I'm fine with that so I leave it like that. So in the movies tab we have all the options to actually make a recording. You have the folder to save it in. By default C colon fraps. Um, I've changed mine and I'll get into why in a minute. There's the video capture hotkey, so the button you press to start recording and stop recording. Uh, the FPS you want, so I've got mine on 30. 30 is perfect. You know, 25, below 25 will start kind of showing choppiness. 30 is perfect. And you have your video capture setting size. So my screen resolution is 1680 by 1050, which is what I play all my video games at. So if I did half size recording, that would only be a resolution of about 800 and something by 500 and something. And that's a pretty low resolution. Uh, it would look fine in the small version of the YouTube video, but if you went to view full, like a 720 high definition one, it would look pretty, pretty grainy because it's being expanded so high. So what I usually do is I leave full size on and I change my actual game resolution to 1280 by 720, which is 720p. So that way, if you watch the high quality version or high definition version on YouTube, it looks so good. It looks like because it's actually recorded at 720p. So I leave it at full size and change my in-game resolution. So over here on the right hand side is your sound settings. The first option here is your system sound, so that will include your game sound. So if you want your game to be recorded with no sound, uncheck that or leave it checked if you do want the game sound. Below that is your input sound, so your microphone. If you want to record what you're saying at the time while playing the game, check off that. I usually have mine unchecked because what I usually do is I will script what I want to say and record myself in an audio recording program, save it, and then import it and voice over the video with some kind of editing software. So I leave that unchecked. And down here is a couple other options you can choose if you want, but mine are all unselected. Now back to the reason why I save my recording files in a completely different hard drive than to where my game is. Um, not only is playing a game and recording the game at the same time very CPU intensive, it's also very hard drive intensive, and what I mean by that is that by design, hard drives, unless you have a solid state drive, hard drives are not designed to be doing this type of thing. If you take a look at their design, the way they're designed, all of your data is all fragmented all throughout this platter, and this platter spins at usually 7200 RPM, and at the end of this actuator arm is a little tiny laser that writes and reads all of your data. So as this platter is spinning, is trying this little laser is moving back and forth back and forth trying to find where your fraps folder is saving there and then moving back to your game folder and trying to read from there so that severely severely decreases performance of the game and writing of the data so that's why if you're recording on the same hard drives you ex you'll expect to have an extremely low fps and you'll have to lower all your graphical settings and all that kind of stuff so anyways uh, once you're done with that, you're, you've made your settings, you're satisfied, done a couple test videos, you're constantly between 30 and 25 frames per second, or more than 30, you're good to go. So you make your first video. Now what? Like I said, your video is going to be very, very large. It's going to be uncompressed. You're looking at between 3, 4, 5, 6 gigs. So you're going to need to compress it. So what you do is you get a video converter. Now I recommend 
the AVC free video converter. So there's the link at the top, I'll include in the description. So let's go to the download page, completely free. So I've already got it installed. So once you download it and run the installer, you can open the program. All right, so I'll just minimize this here. I already have it installed, so I'm gonna need to download it and install it again. So it's a very simple program to use, highly recommended for me and other websites. Uh, so we'll just go add video at the top. And so here's a bunch of my Borderlands videos. So I can add a couple. And usually your video output, um, it'll only be about two minutes long each video and it'll just, it'll keep recording, but it'll make a separate file. So it'll just, you usually need to select three files or whatever. And this also works good for the people that only use a trial version is it'll probably be about 15, 20 recordings of just 30 seconds. You can just select them all and add them in. And if they're all from the same video, you want them all to put together, you can highlight them all and check, right click and merge output. So now it's gonna make it all one file. So that's good for all you people that are using the 30 second thing. So you can just make, put all your 30 second videos in order and just merge them into one file and upload to YouTube. So once you've done that, um, you can choose what type of file output you want. Now YouTube on the website has some recommendations. So I've got it open here. So we've got all these files that YouTube will accept. Now I highly recommend the .mkv, the H.264 output. Now there's a reason why all the movies you download Legally, I, I know, I know you guys only do legal stuff, so legally, they're always .mkv, and it's because it's a good quality uh, video format. The video quality is always good, the sound quality is always good, usually in 5.1 or whatever, it's always good. So that's the way I use my YouTube videos. So on the profile thing here, you just go down and select .mkv. Now by default, the video uh, options are pretty low. So what I usually do is um, I change here, I change the output size, I want 720, and I recorded it all in 720, so there's not gonna be any quality issues, so now it's output is 720. The video bit rate is very low. Like, it'll look terrible in this bit rate. So, I change that usually to max, because it's usually a pretty small file still, and I want it to look good. Um, audio MP3 is fine. The audio bit rate is fine too, by default. Uh, most of the MP3s that you download, again, legally, I'm sure, are all 128 kilobits per second. Uh, I usually, I'm a bit of an audiophile, so I put mine up to 320 kilobytes a second to keep it good. All that's good, the rest of that's good, and you can hit the convert button, and that will convert your video. If you select it to merge it, it'll merge all the video file into one, and then it's ready to be uploaded to YouTube. It usually takes some time, this is very CPU impress, uh, intensive, so be prepared to wait. Alright, and then once your video is done converting, I suggest that you watch it over again to make sure you said everything you wanted to say, uh, it merged it properly, and you didn't forget any of the settings down here, so it might look bad or if it looks good, whatever. Just make sure everything is the way you want it to be, and then you're ready to upload it to YouTube.